For my part, whatever anguish of spirit it may cost, I am willing to know the whole truth, to know the worst, and to provide for it. I have but one lamp by which my feet are guided, and that is the lamp of experience. I know of no way of judging the future, but by the past. And judging by the past, I wish to know what there has been in the conduct of adjudicated rapist and convicted Phil and Donald Trump for the last ten years to justify those hopes with which gentlemen have been pleased to solace themselves and the goose people. Is it that insidious smile with which our petition has been lately received? Trust it not, sir. It will prove a snare to your feet. Suffer not yourselves to be betrayed with a kiss. Ask yourselves how this gracious reception of our petition comports with those warlike preparations which cover our waters and darken our land. Are fleets and armies necessary to a work of love and reconciliation? Have we shown ourselves so unwilling to be reconciled that force must be called in to win back our love? Let us not deceive ourselves, sir. These are the implements of injustice and subjugation, the last arguments to which kings resort. I ask gentlemen, sir, what means this martial array, if its purpose be not to force us to submission? Can gentlemen assign any other possible motive for it? As thou any enemy, in this quarter of the world, to call for all this insurrection, rape, felonious acts of ego? No, sir, none. If you direct them at us in your social truths filled with objective lies, they are meant for us, they can be meant for no other. They are sent over to bind and rivet upon us those chains which the Trump cult have been so long forging. And what have we to oppose to them? Shall we try argument? Sir, we have been trying that for the last ten years. Have we anything new to offer upon the subject? Nothing. We have held the subject up in every light of which it is capable. But it has been all in vain. Shall we resort to entreaty and humble supplication? What terms shall we find which have not been already exhausted? Let us not humor them, I beseech you, sir. Let us not deceive ourselves. Sir, we have done everything that could be done to avert the storm which is now coming on. We have petitioned. We have remonstrated. We have supplicated. We have prostrated ourselves before the throne, and have implored its interposition to arrest the tyrannical hands of its cult leader Donald Trump. Our petitions have been slighted. While their remonstrances have produced additional violence and insult, our supplications have been disregarded, and we have been spurned, with contempt, from the foot of the throne. In vain, after these things, may we indulge the fond hope of peace and reconciliation. There is no longer any room for hope. If we wish to be free, if we mean to preserve and violate those inestimable privileges for which we have been so long contending, if we mean not basely to abandon the noble struggle in which we have been so long engaged, and which we have pledged ourselves never to abandon until the glorious object of our contest shall be obtained, we must fight, I repeat it, sir, we must fight. An appeal to arms and to the God of hosts is all that is left us. Give me liberty, or give me death.